Hello guys, Shazad the game from you from Seal UK Limited. Uh, today I bring for you uh, uh, another video, uh, which is uh, part four. And today I want to show you uh, wireless jam uh, programming, and uh, this is uh, as you can see here. This is wireless expander and this is shock sensor two in one door contact and then also we have a normal pet sensor which is a wireless as well today I want to show you programming both and uh, uh, wall expander how we create the wall expander I will show you show you as well and also how you programming the wireless door contact uh, fob key this one I want to show you as well how to programming this one and uh, one by a subscriber they asked me how we programming on uh, fob key uh, so you uh, also this video is covered for my subscriber guy uh, so let me start uh, before we start please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, make sure press the icon bell and give some likes and some comments in the comments uh, I want to they when you do comments then a lot of help for me so and uh, let me start then okay so as you can see I already told you this is wireless ZEM expander and shock sensor 2 in 1 and 1 uh, PIR which is also wireless here yeah? and uh, so before we start we need to programming uh, the expander and uh, sensor and PIR and also FOB key. So before we programming on ZAM, you need to go on the keypad. Uh, you can use any keypad. If I use this keypad, so you need to go engineering mode, and then go to Install ZEM, press yes, ZEM 0. Uh, this is a uh, already installed the wired one, so you need to go to uh, second ZEM, which is this one, 0 1, press yes. Uh, this is the code ZEM23WE wireless expander 32 me you can put maximum 22 uh, zones you can use on this expand okay press yes location anyone and the address is one okay then all from genie mode now you need to programming the shock sensor and door contact so you need to go to uh, wireless devices go to wireless devices control press yes control input press yes run device yes so input 17 available so now press yes okay so now the alarm is ready for learning something so need to go on sensor now okay so now need to program in the sensor I need to open the cover first this is 17 okay so you need to open the cover yeah so I need to 
hold the this button which is the communication button hold for only this three four seconds press and lift the so now we see on the keypad now keypad say input learned yeah so now you put put the cover back Okay, now we go to shock sensor. So we need to put the keypad. Now put uh, press no. Now we need to put uh, 18. Press D for delta. 18 is uh, available. Press yes. Now go to the shock sensor. So shock sensor is two in one here. Yeah? So, open the cover. Okay. So, they have one switch is called disable and enable. So, when you programming, you have to put the switch back. When you do programming, you have to uh, disable the address, okay, then after you do programming. Okay, first one is door contact and second one is shock sensor. Yeah? The first one is a uh, is a MC. And then second day alarm yeah, shock sensor. So we do first uh, first one hold three second. Okay, it's still learned. Okay, now press no. One is for ROM, then go to number 19, press for D for Delta, press yes. Now go to the shock sensor. So now to press second button, hold for three seconds. Okay, now you say learned. Now go on the keypad. Now you say learned, okay. So now we need to put the cover back. It's 18 and 19 here. Yeah? So you need to remove the disable button. Just leave it on one side. Make sure. do put it back, okay. They should close properly. This is the uh, other part. Just put it blue tag. This for testing. Okay. So devices is learned now. It's so now to going on uh, programming. Go with the keypad. So now we go to press no, press no again, no, 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 okay. Okay, uh, so now is all is uh, 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 learned now. 
So now we to go to uh, uh, devices learn. Devices already learn uh, link with the system now. Now we give programming to what the sensor they do. Okay. So now we go to press no. You press no. Then go to uh, go to change inputs. Change inputs. Press yes. Now this is a uh, zone 70 now. So press one seven. Press yes. Unused. Press uh, this is a uh, 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 PIR. Yeah. So so we give uh, the sensor like uh, anything like uh, if you use it at home or in the garage or or if you put in the like park back garage so somebody go in the garage the alarm state was I give a state way zone okay so I give a zero six intruder and then press uh, yes area A and B yes uh, I don't want to give any chime so we can Key name here, like you can put uh, garage uh, or a garage room, or whatever you give name. You can change name here. I'll just leave it like this in the moment. Then we go to shock sensor. Okay, uh, shock sensor is uh, we have uh, first we did 81. This is door contact, so I use. Uh, this one I use uh, entry to uh, like fan exit when you open the garage then give time I put 0 7 and I put A and B programming I put chime as well yes and press no ok then I put uh, also shock sensor 18 I give uh, somebody bang the door the alarm is triggered so I put uh, Zero six. Yep. Then and then also on P is well. I don't want to give chime. That's it. And go exit. Okay, so now alarm is program. Okay, so just we test first. After we, I'll show you how we programming the fob key and uh, tag. Okay, so let me test that alarm first manually. Okay. I need to open the door first. Open door. Door close. Okay. So when we come back, open door. Okay. As you notice, uh, when I remove the cover, the sensor in the garage, they don't pick me. Uh, because I remove the cover, uh, they should pick me because it uh, should be alarm, alarm straight away because that is a intruder, is not anti door sensor. Uh, because they don't pick me because uh, I'm here, yeah, and then sensor is go sleep mode. So when you come back from around uh, four or five minutes, uh, this area, then the sensors pick you because you go sleep mode, yeah. That's why they no pick me. Uh, normally, when you go to the garage after you went on the alarm and you come back, like uh, then uh, then they they pick you straight away. Yeah? So in this case, uh, we are here we're moving around here. This sensor here. That's why they're not picking me. Yeah. Uh, so 
So let me check the part set. Same thing, I mean, uh, if I like uh, put the contact back, also the chime is available open the open door. Let me chime. Yeah. Let me show you. When I open the door, door. So this is it. the blue light is on. <coughs> okay, let me if I bang this door, what's happened here? So I put the code. Press yes. Door open. Door close. Okay, let me bang here for example. Yeah. What's happened? You see here, alarm is triggered. So you put code. Okay. So this is the sensor. Was somebody installed the system for you? and uh, make sure tell him give me engineering code because sometimes the system required uh, wants engineering code here yeah? so uh, as if you installers so, uh, make sure you give the engineering code to client yeah sometimes you're not available so other installer can come they asking for engineering code so please give the engineering code here yeah? if you don't have engineering code then what we do then you have to of the power like more than battery power and then move the main power then after on back on then you can you like this if you have engineering code then you don't need to of the power okay and uh, then we do the programming key for yeah we have key for we have tag so in this uh, uh, For, thank you very much. Uh, the next video I will show you how programming the uh, key pa uh, sorry FOB key and uh, proxy tag. Okay, uh, please make sure my uh, please make sure my subscribe make sure my subscribe my channel and give some likes and give comments. Okay, see you next time. Okay, bye.